Panzerkampf. In the blue square, we have the PWM Frontrunners submitted by Parawings. This team consists of two tourney kit bashes, two tourney roasters, and one metagame. And in the red square, we have the Victoria Universalis Armored Platoon, submitted by Magma8520. And this team consists of five Humeron medium tanks. Alright, the tanks are on the field and are ready. So let's get on with this in three, two, one, fight! There's the timer. There's everyone settled on the ground. Let's get this fight underway, boys and girls. Alright. Tourney Roaster and Kit Bash. Let's see if you can leave without hitting each other first. I don't think that was a problem last time, but I'm just saying. There we go. Yep, they've made it. Very well designed uh, starting block here. Oop, a few pieces there, but not too bad. I think they've been. I think the starting uh, mechanism has been designed very well by Para Wings. There's that stream of five missiles. Look how symmetrical the uh, the shots, everything from the uh, Victoria Universalis team is. There's the meta game. <laughs> we know what it wants to do. It is coming for the booty, swiggity swooty, and it senses a very injured Humeron medium tank right now. It just ate a big HE shell. It's about to eat something else, and it's not going to like it. Oh, interestingly enough, it seems that actually damaged the meta game far worse than it damaged the Humeron. May have been the angle from which it was hit. Some blocks off of the metagame, but nothing too serious, I don't think. Didn't do much to the front of the Humeron. Very interesting. It may have hit the wheels. Then again, it doesn't look like it did. It's going to try to turn and have this one. They're going to make it easy for it. Look at it. It's just going to scoot right in here. Run aground upon its, its ramps. There it goes. Oh, but now they've captured it. They've actually captured the metagame. It's going to try to break free. It's going straight through of a, a Humeron medium tank to get out. Oh, no. Another HE shell comes straight in and smacks the side of a Humeron. The kit bashes are out there, and they want blood. Where is everyone? There's a kit bash. There's a roadster. There's a kit bash. Where's the other roadster? I think I just missed a roadster being wrecked. Yeah, I think the Humorons managed to kill themselves on roadster. The roadsters are the small ones. The metagamer is just going to continue to bully this poor Humoron medium tank. I don't know if there's anything left of it. There is enough left that's not despawning though. So now it's got itself a nose piece, a mouthpiece. Okay, interesting. Missiles are very, very good at covering long distances and giving you some extra range damage. And it looks like these have enough fuel. They're going to actually reach the kit bash. But are they going to do anything to it? No, they strike the side. That one actually hit the ground. And one loops right over. What were you doing up there? You completely missed the target. Kit bashes are, ranging, are staying at far range so they don't get hit. That's the metagame's job, is to get hit, to go in and, and deal damage. <laughs> Look, it's just trying to kill this this Humoron. I will say this right now, it thinks that the Humoron, this is the closest Humoron to it, it's going to keep pushing that tank until it kills it, or it loses it, or whatever. Um, if that tank despawns and leaves this out of range, I'm not going to disqualify the uh, metagame for that, because that's that's kind of a, I, I hadn't really thought about that, that's a niche case. It's not the metagame's fault for being out of range if this despawns. At this rate, though, it's not really going to matter. It's just going to get stuck with a Humoron on its nose. So it's really down to these four, or these three, the, these three uh, front runners versus the, uh, the remaining four Humorons. Have they despawned another Kit Bash? No, that Kit Bash is still way out there. Oh my goodness! Look at the burst of shell. Oh, that must have been the turret that just popped. Yeah, up oh, there goes the entire turret off of the Humoron. Very nice shot there from the Kit Bash. Is that one going to hit too? Nope, just a little low. At that range, with the uh, settings that, as they are, it might be a little hard to pull off long-range sniping shots, but the few that do hit are very impressive when the kit bashes fire. The tourney roadsters actually have a decent uh, gun, too. They're just a little more tipsy about it. The kit bashes have a lot better stability. Oh, that one narrowly grazed the, uh, the humor on there. This one is incapacitated, and it's being focused down by the, uh, tur the kit bash. Nope, the kit bash has switched targets again. I think that was going to be a little low. Yeah, that was a little low as well. Ran to the ground. Metagame, will you stop playing with your food and come back over here and finish what you started? It's trying, I think. It's certainly trying. <laughs> it's just got a, it's got a, a medium tank stuck on its nose. 
see the crosshairs from two missile, the two uh, laser guided missiles on the remaining turrets of the uh, heat of the medium tanks. Oh, it looks like a kit bash is going to help out its friend. Is it going to hit the, the medium tank or the roadster or the metagame? That's a beautiful shot right there. I think it did splash the uh, metagame, but it lifts the medium tank clean off the top. Looks like the other one had the exact same idea. They both hit it from the sides. I think that probably, yeah, I think that pretty much just hit the, the Humeron and splashed the uh, metagame. You see, it just it splashed a little bit. It's lost a lot of its nose pieces, but still got plenty of rams. That was a beautiful, beautiful shot by the kit bashes and it has freed up the uh, metagame to do what it does best ram into people with wild abandon and it's found two hapless little tanks to, to practice its favorite hobby on oh humoron guess what time it is you might want to put some lube on this is gonna be rough oh nope it switched targets decided it doesn't want the nearest tank it's gonna get the, the furthest tank that might actually be the sensible thing to do in this case. It is going to keep that Humoron in range. If it was out of range before, it's definitely not out of range now. Has it? Is it still moving? It is. It looks like it's lost some turning ability, so it's stuck kind of gliding out of range. I'm trying to turn around. Nope. I think the metagame decided it did want this one after all, but it's changed its mind too late to actually do anything about it. It's got to turn around now. Where's the Roadster? Nope, the Roadster... Oh, no, that Humoron's dead. The blast from the the devil blast from the kit bashes has indeed killed it. Now they're focusing. All three of the uh, of the uh, turreted tanks are focusing down this lone humoron. I think this is going to be a win for the PWM front runners if they can manage to hit anything. <laughs> oh dear! And if they don't crossfire each other, if they cross in front of each other and end up shooting each other in the back, that could be very unfortunate. That's a good shot. That's going to miss though. They are kind of lined up with each other. It makes me a little uneasy. Yeah, you see how close that's coming to hitting? Oh! <laughs> I think the Roadster just hit it. <laughs> yeah, it hit it. It blew the side off the Humoron. I think that one's going to be dead. Down for the count. Yes? No? I don't see anything coming out of it. Of course, my computer's lagging so badly, it very well might take a while for that to actually show anything. Metagame's out there just toying with its food right now. This is incapacitated. If it's not dead, it will be soon enough. All I have to do is sit there long enough to get hit by a kit bash one more time. Oh, nope. Yep. That's not exactly what it needs. Oh, no. <laughs> the roaster's flipped. Nope. I thought the roaster flipped itself. No, oh, it's still alive. Look how look how ridiculously oversized that gun is. It tips the thing all the way over when it fires. And the jets. Oh, <laughs> Oh no, it finally did tip itself over. But the jets are actually going to flip it back. Look at this. Whee! Can't pull off an air, an, a trick shot. Come on, tank. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> it needs to pin itself down on the ground again. There we go. Wow, that's some very good correction uh, mechanics right there. I'm not sure that's strictly legal under these set rules. But that was very nice. Oh, dear. It almost pulled that landing off. Don't fire again. Don't fire again. Don't fire again. You're going to rock yourself. Oh, look at that, and it's on the ground. Wow. And fires, and doesn't flip. That's a very impressive design. I'm not sure if it's intended to do quite that, but that was very nicely done. Oh, that Humoron is gone. The metagame has gone hunting and has found itself another toy. There it goes. Metagame, we love you, but you got to stop doing that, bro. <laughs> oh, this Humoron is just like, why me? Why? Why? It's trying so hard to get off of the... I don't think it even has any power left in it. The metagame's just taking it for a ride. It can't do any more damage to it, really. It doesn't have that high impact. Uh, apparently, the rams don't do much to this. Uh, these humorons. I'm not sure why. It has repaired its nose, so it has all of its rams back again. It just it hasn't done enough. I guess the spaced armor, that heavy armor on the outside of the wheels, has helped protect the humorons a little bit from the uh, high impact violence that the uh, the metagame delivers, but it has incapacitated the Humoron. It's down to 67%, or maybe 82%. No, that one's down to 67%. Oh, dear. Yeah, these tanks need to come back in a little bit. They're going to get disqualified at this rate. I'm not even sure what the Roadster's doing. Oh, it's doing aerial acrobatics again. Come on, Roadster, get back in the game. <laughs> Oh dear, <laughs> look at this thing. Let's see if you're out of range, buddy. 
Yeah, you are out of range, but I'm not going to hold it against you at this point. That'd be kind of silly, wouldn't it? It's trying, it's trying so hard to get back in range. It's just that it's been flipping itself over. It's coming back in range now. There it goes. Yep. They're all coming back in range. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna time anybody. It's over at this point anyway. Ooh, a nice solid shot. Almost clipped that humoron that the metagame's carrying around. Needs to bring it back over to its friends so they can help it out again. Doesn't know what to do once it's caught something. It's like a cat. Plays with it. Eventually leaves its dead corpse on your doorstep. Oh, well... I guess that's fixed that. The kit bash has decided that, screw you, we're not going to wait for you to bring it over here, we're going to hit you in the face and blow it up. <laughs> Gotta love friends, huh? They're, they're great, great to have around when you need them. Slap you in the face to get that uh, fly off your nose. Oh well, that's an AI dead for that uh, Humeron. That means with just one left and nine minutes and fifty seconds remaining, this fight is practically over. But we'll watch some more carnage, won't we? Oh dear, it's, it's sad. The very, very nice tanks built by Magma8520. Unfortunately, very nice doesn't mean, necessarily mean that they're going to uh, do very well when they're hit with high explosives from large caliber guns. And it's just a matter of time now. It's doing donuts, trying to avoid that next shot. Oh, it didn't avoid it. That's not just high explosive either. I saw the fragments there. That's eight. That's uh, heat that the... Uh, the kit bashes are firing. And I know I've already covered them in a review video, so if you really want to see all that makes them tick, go look at that. I've completely forgot what they carry by this point, but oh no. <laughs> it looks like a fiery demon coming for it. Oh, uh, hold still. Just hold still. It will all be over very, very soon. It's not despawning either. Oh, that might be it. Nope. Not enough. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> the metagame's like, yes. Yes! Come to me! Om nom 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 nom! Oh, dang it! Who did that? Who just ruined its fun? <laughs> it knocked the Humoron out of the way at the last second and saved it. And that's gonna be it. There's nothing left of the Humoron. It's been absolutely demolished. The AI core is right there. All it takes is a blow there, and it would have been done anyway. But it's despawning now, and that will be the end of this fight. So congratulations, Para Wings. Your PWM frontrunners have pulled out a win this time and will be moving on to the secondary bracket and Magma 8520. My condolences, man. Your team has been eliminated from this tournament once and for all and will no longer compete. But thank you both for participating. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope everyone enjoyed watching this. And as always, I've been Chromoid. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.